Flutter 2.0 and Flame 1.0 game development. You should be at this stage. This is video number nine in the tutorial series. You should have collision detection working on animated sprites. If you're using your own graphic files, this was made by a teenager that is taking the course and going through the videos. Uh, this student is using their own graphics and has changed it. Uh, when the collision hits, the there is a text message that appears now that says, I want to be friends. If you're following the tutorial, we're at, we're, we're at video nine, which is after the collision detection on animated sprites. Currently, all the files are in one file, or all the classes are in one file called main.dart. The objective is to break it up into separate files. This is your file structure. There is a directory called lib. Within there, there is main.dart. So with lib selected, go up to this icon where it says new file. Click on new file, and we're going to create boy.dart. It's a blank file initially. Select the class uh, boy.dart. So if you make sure you find the end, you can use um, these bracket matching to really get a better idea of where it starts and end. Select it, cut it out, drop it into the new file. Not, now you have a bunch of uh, syntax uh, errors because you need to import the, the libraries. The hitbox rectangle is in geometry.dart. So at the top of your file, you'll have these two import statements here. They're both from the flame package. One is components and the other is geometry. Now you should have no uh, syntax errors on VS Code if that's what you're using. So in main.dart, you're going to have an error message here because uh, we no longer have the, the boy class defined. And you can import the library boy. So it adds this line here. If it doesn't come up automatically, you can just do import boy.dart. This, this is the name of the file. It's in the same directory, so it should work. We're going to reload it. Hot restart. The boy still appears. Um, collision detection is still working. So we're going to do the same thing for the girl and for the platform component. So I'll select lib as the directory folder name. Then I'm going to click on new file, not new folder. And I'll call it girl.dart. Find out where the class is for the girl. It's here. and get it to the end. Cut it out. Drop it in. Repeat the process. This one is geometry. Import the And this is UI Dart. So at the top of the file, after I pasted it in, I added the three import statements. Uh, two are from Flame. The last one is from Dart. Uh, and it's because the image uh, class name here, there's another there's another class called image. And we're using this one Dart from the package Dart UI. Back in your main.dart file, the girl will no longer work. So import the library girl. 
So it's this line, line nine, import girl.dart, save it, do a hot restart. And it should still be working. All the files are saved up here. We're gonna extract the platform now. For the platform, we did not create a separate class in the previous step, so we're gonna do it right now. Create a new file called platform. Platform.dart. We're gonna start off with the class for the boy. Select all, copy the boy, change the name of the class from boy to platform, change the name of the constructor to platform, and in the collision, we're going to make it so that it's, uh, you hit the platform. Okay, so there's a class here for platform now. We're not using the position uh, at this at this point. Let's just see whether we can get it to work and replicate this with separate files. In main.dart, import the file. Because we imported this file platform, the class name is platform with a capital P. We should be able to access it from our main.dart file. Change sprite component to platform. Yeah. There should be no syntax error. It's platform. It's the name of the class. Platform is the name of the variable uh, that we are assigning when we instantiate the class. And then platform here instantiates the, this is the name of the class, and we instantiate it. And then we use a cascade operator to set up the initial um, variables right now. And then add the platform. Add is from flame. Add this platform here to the game, and it theoretically should work. Let's just test it out. Everything appears to still work. All the files are saved. When we instantiate this class platform, because we're going to have multiple platforms here, uh, if you look at the class, there's this constructor that has position and size. So we can actually instantiate it with the position. And the size. Oh, Now we don't need these. Let's just see whether it works. So the collision detection is working on the platform as well. We're getting the message here you hit the platform so now we can take some additional action here we can also add other platforms uh, to the game now for example if you want to add another platform at a different location
So we have this other platform here. Gonna move it over a little bit. Okay, we'll, we'll fix it so it's using the um, the width later in uh, future lessons. But this is just to show you how we're gonna get the platforms working, because we have a a specific class for platform. Um, when you populate it out, there's different techniques so that it's populate it out automatically with the platforms. But I think because this is a simple game, just to show you how to get the collision working, uh, we'll just put maybe three platforms here uh, manually and we'll specify the, the positions. Uh, we won't use a, a map or a level editor uh, for this one so you can get it working. And we'll take some action when she hits the platform. Right. So at this stage, you should be ready to almost, you, you'll have a game that your friends can play quite soon. Uh, congratulations on getting this far. Subscribe to the channel and we'll be updating it uh, in the future so that we can get more features for this fantastic game. Have a great day.